Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for stopping back in. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please don't be afraid to go ahead and smash on that subscribe button. And while you're right there, there's a little bitty bell right next to it. I don't know where it's at, it's located somewhere. But if it ain't there, it'll be on the screen as well. Make sure you go ahead and join us. Once again, I have been getting some bomb units lately and I've been loving them. Um, but I do have some pros and cons with this unit, but if you like to hear more about the hair that I'm rocking right now, then keep on watching. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. So today's video is brought to you from Main Concept. This is the Red Carpet Collection. It is the Soft Swiss Lace Premium Synthetic Wig in the 4x4 Free Flow Parts in the style RCP4406 Emily in the color Deep Mocha. This is your basic construction of the actual boxing. So it just gives you all the details about your wig as, as well as the styles and colors that it comes in. So this is the 4x4 party space. So as you can see, it has a pretty dense hairline. So it looks like it has been packed full of hair. Um, and the lace on this is about a medium brown. And it looks pretty darn good, you guys. I can't even, I can't fret the hair from the roots of the tip is even density so it doesn't get thinner it doesn't go from thick roots to thin at the ends uh, and it has in the back a comb adjustable strap two combs in the front and that is your 4x4 parting space so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I placed my cap on a actual wig mannequin and I'm just going to start styling it the way that I want to so this part this wig does not come with a pre-parted area so this is one of those wigs you do have to customize to your liking so you can make this a side part middle part you can wear it as is and wear it straight to the back you can wear it in a high ponytail uh, well a little top knot bun not an actual high ponytail uh, but I like to go and I've been really really into middle parts lately so I just went ahead and made a small middle part and now I'm just going to start tweezing some of the hair out of the hairline just to give it a more natural density so that's what I'm doing here you see me parting off the section of what I would have created as maybe here and I'm just going to straighten up my part and then I'm going to show you guys again how I customize my unit so I just like to part a, down the center I take the handful of hair and then I separate it into one to two strands and I pull the hairs out gently so I'm showing you here it's in real in real time so you're able to see exactly kind of what I'm doing I just take it uh, one or two strands at a time not a whole bunch because you can rip the lace doing that so I just take one or two strands wrap it around my finger and pull it out as close to the root as possible so this is a sped up area because I was plucking this area for a little while so it's only going to be that front portion because the rest of it you can't it's not like a full frontal where you would need to customize all the way down the hairline because as you can see as a part you'll see that there's tracks right in that area next to my hand there so as you can see there's a little bit of a difference there as far as density right in that front area from side by side comparison so I'm just going to go ahead and do that on both sides and I went ahead and finish the other side off camera so now I'm taking my flat irons and I'm not sure what flat irons these are I've had these for eons you guys and they still are like my handy dandies but I've had these for years so if I can remember I will leave it down below in the description box but I'm just going to go ahead and flatten out the root area this hair is very dense so I want to make sure that it is nice and flat when I put it on so after I get the areas uh kind of as flat it's not as flat as I wanted it to be but I got it as flat as it was going to be on the mannequin and then I just went in with my handy dandy trusty black radiance contour kit and I use the middle shade here um, to go ahead and start to customize the color of the lace area to make it more suitable for my skin tone I'm sure you guys probably think it looks nice on the mannequin but that's a white mannequin head versus my actual hair I have a black wig cap on so this is going to work out absolutely perfect you guys so I went ahead and put that in the parting space and after I put that in the parting space I'm just going to go ahead and put the wig on now 
Now, as you guys can see, it's still a bit lumpy. That's the only kind of that I have about this hair. It is very dense. It doesn't lay as flat as I would like it to, but that's only because it gives you that that freedom to part your hair whatever you want to so the hairs don't lay exactly the way that it would if it was a pre tweezed part or a part that was already actually designed into the wig so this is just one of those things you have to take your time with and customize it to your liking and it's definitely not a straight out of the pack type of shake and go hair but it is very much so pretty it is very much so beautiful you can work with this hair and make it look exactly how you want it to look and plus it gives you i like these type of wigs it gives you the practice for when you get your real bundles and your frontals that you, when you know how to customize your units when you do it yourself right here kind of looks like a bob because i have both sides pulled to the front but it's not a bob it is a straight wig all the way around it's already been layered for you as well I didn't cut this wig at all I know some of y'all got a problem with how I cut my wigs anyways but yeah it looks really nice and natural you guys I love it. all right you guys so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any tips or tricks or critiques leave them down below I like it I definitely will be rocking this to work okay honey but yeah, you guys, drop me down a comment below and let me know what you guys think of this hair. I've been you, been bringing you guys some pop of color lately and stuff, but I've, you know, reverted back into my natural looking ways. Uh, just a little bit, just for, not for long, but just a little bit. So let me guys, let me know what you think down below in the comment box. Go ahead and share with a friend. And until next time, beauties, stay blessed and stay beautiful. Bye.